Hi, my name is Cheryl Klein. I'm a mental toughness coach, published author, speaker, and mother to a couple of great kids who happen to be high school and college athletes. This is the fourth in a video series titled A Parent's Guide to Mental Toughness for Teens. If you haven't had a chance to watch videos one through three, I encourage you to do that now. Those are really a great place to start. I am passionate about mental toughness training because when I was a teen, I did pretty well in school and I did pretty well in my sport. But school was a little stressful for me, especially surrounding test taking. And regarding my sport, I did well, but I didn't perform my best because I wasn't very good at managing my thoughts and emotions, especially in high pressure situations. So I've studied, researched, and worked with recreational to high school to college, all the way to world-class athletes. And I now understand how elite athletes perform their best, especially in high pressure situations. Hard physical practice and studying longer and harder, so having a great work ethic is of course very important. It's vital, but unfortunately it's not enough. Teens need to learn to be mentally tough so they can do their very best. Parents can learn to support their teens to be mentally tough, and teens can learn to plan and manage their thoughts and emotions, especially in high pressure situations, so they can do their very best. Today we're going to talk about process goals. These are the short-term goals that teens have total control over. They're really the small steps to the big dream. Process goals are doable, important steps. They move teens a little bit closer to their aspirations down the road. These goals, when done and planned well and done consistently, are really the foundation of true success. So here's a story. There was a track athlete who wanted and needed to get a little bit faster. He decided in order to do that, he was going to run four 100-yard sprints at the track after a half a mile warm-up. He's going to do this on Monday and Wednesday from 4 to 4.30, and in order to get this done, it was going to get into his homework time a little bit, so he was going to get up early and do 15 minutes of homework in the morning and do a few minutes of homework during his lunch period. After getting this done and really planning and how to get this done, he eventually became faster and reached his goal. So here's a few takeaways for process goals. Process goals are really the small steps that are vital to long-term success. Teens have total control of these goals. Either they're going to do them or they're not. These goals are very specific in regards to time, place, and what's going to get done. Here's a parent tip. These goals are in the near term, so encourage your teen to focus on what they have control over, not their long-term goals. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, I encourage you to pass it along or share it on your social media. Next time, we're going to talk about emotional control.